In this video, we're being asked to find the volume of the solid of revolution. So we're basically going to take this region here and rotate it about the y-axis. So before we draw our official picture, let's think about this equation here. If we square both sides of this, we end up with y squared equals 16 minus x squared. And if we add x squared to both sides, we end up with x squared plus y squared equals 16. So in this case, this is a circle centered at 0 comma 0 with radius equal to the square root of 16, which is equal to 4. So it looks something like this. Here's 4, here's negative 4, here's 4, and here's negative 4. And we have what appears to be a circle. Now we also have these lines. So we have the line x equals 0, and we have the line y equals 0. So x equals 0 is this vertical line here and y equals 0 is this horizontal line. So it looks like we're just focused on this piece right here. We usually deal with things in quadrant 1 when we're doing these uh, volume of revolution problems. So let's go ahead and go to the side and draw our picture. So we have x equals 0, y equals 0, and then we have this piece of the circle. And we said that this was 4, and this is also 4. And we're spinning this around the y-axis. So we're going to spin it right here. Let's go ahead and use the disk method for this problem. So we're going to use the disk method. Now, in the disk method, your rectangles are always perpendicular to the axis of revolution. So when we draw our rectangle, it has to look like this. Because we have a horizontal rectangle, we're going to have functions of y. So if you had a vertical rectangle, you would have a function of x. But since we have a horizontal rectangle, we have a function of y. So this distance here, the distance from this far end of the rectangle all the way to the axis of revolution is big R of y. So because we have functions of y, we actually have to solve this for x. So we've already started to do that over here. So to solve this for x, we can simply subtract y squared. So we end up with x squared equals 16 minus y squared. And taking the square root, we end up with x equals plus or minus the square root of 16 minus y squared. But we are in quadrant 1, so we just care about the plus, right? So this is the square root of... 16 minus y squared. Boom, there it is. So this line here is equal to x equals, or this curve is equal to x equals 16 minus y squared. All right, now we're ready to write down big R of y. So big R of y, think of it as right minus left. This is x equals 0. This is x equals the square root of 16 minus y squared. So right minus left. So this minus 0 is going to be big R of y. So simply the square root of 16 minus y squared. And now we can go ahead and write down our volume. So the volume is equal to pi. And we're integrating with respect to y. So we'll go from 0 to 4. So 0 to 4. And we take big R of y and we square it. So it's going to be parentheses square root of 16 minus y squared and this whole thing here is being squared, and this is dy. And this ends up being, via magic, 128 pi divided by 3. And that is the final answer. I didn't feel like integrating this, but the hard part, again, is setting everything up. So I hope that made sense.